Joining us on the phone from Cologne, Germany, London Times correspondent Alan Hall. So what really happened here, Mr. Hall? It was a mob of about a thousand men of, we are told, by the victims and by the eyewitnesses of Arabic or Middle Eastern looking appearance. They rampaged through the main station in the square outside next to the famous Gothic cathedral. They fired fireworks through the crowd. And with all these fireworks going off, the celebrations of New Year's Eve, they took the opportunity to surround these women, rob them, and in some cases, seriously sexually assault them. Now, and was this a certain group of people? How do you get a thousand people rampaging? How do you do that? Well, th th this was a thousand men that uh, gathered outside. It's a very big square. And what happened was the, these guys, according to the victims, peeled off into groups of between three and 20, surrounded women in a, either singularly or in groups of two or three, uh, interfered with them sexually and uh, took the opportunity to rob them. And are, they, are they all Muslim men? Have that been established? No, it has not been established. It has been, only been established that all the victims, and so far it is 118 in Cologne, say that they were of a North... Uh, African or Arabic appearance and spoke Arabic or some other language, but not German. Now, we hear over here in New York that the German media was reluctant to cover the story. Is that true? I think it is true. I think the background to that is that, as you know, Germany has accepted in over a million people last year. There is a great, there is a great strain on the social fabric in this country. There's no getting away from that. You probably see in America the numerous assaults, firebombs, other attacks on accommodation and on individuals. And I think the German, I don't think it was a question of sweeping it under the carpet. I think it was a question of trying to get it right. Because at this stage, the authorities are still saying we don't think these people that committed these assaults are actually asylum seekers. They think they are people that have been in the country for a long time. And today there was a report from, a, from the city of Dusseldorf, which is only 30 miles down the road, that said that there has been a similar series of attacks over the last 15 months in Dusseldorf in the same manner from a group of men from Algeria and Morocco. Interesting. So it seems to be a new form of crime. All right. And then, you know, public safety, obviously, this is not going to go down well with the anti-immigrant forces in Germany. Mr. Hall, we appreciate it very